Don't you love it when somebody says they're going to ramp up their podcasts and their videos and then they don't do it? Good morning, fish heads, Jen Crevasse, Jekyll Bates, and this is your weekly update. I have been absent from YouTube yet again for another week, and I apologize, but after Saturday, you guys are going to understand why, and then things should get back to normal, at least some sort of normal, maybe a, a bigger, better normal. We'll see. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I've got a big pile of fresh bull to show you guys. Got a couple of pieces that I want to get through today. We're going to start with this little guy, Spring Colors, everybody. Spring Colors. Red, we all know, up into including the spawn. It's a dynamite color to catch them, stick them, whatever you want to call it. This is the Blind Red Rat. Got a little bit of that Rayburn-esque tone and gold and black to it. Just a fun color. And then we've got some tomato seed color on the tail we're going to go through our rats first this morning this is mike's calling it sherbert at least that's what he called it when he first saw it yesterday he always says that he's amazed at how lousy it looks when it starts out and how finished it looks when it's done um, i do a lot of really random things in my coloring and it shows through how bold i paint and how sometimes splatter pays off but this is just three random colors in fluorescence and the big long brushes i've started using on the bigger stuff a little bit longer of a fan brush for fur just to give you almost a twofer or a three minute thursday this is the brush that i use for longer fur it's from blick but it's actually what is this an Ultrecht? i think let's see yep that's an Ultrecht. 208 fan you can pick it up at blick online or at your fine arts place today so just a little tip food for thought on how i'm getting the effects on the hair most of the artists that do rats are also doing that and then this is just in a bright 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 corvette red so mike asked for one in just a pure like that old beautiful corvette that you guys are used to seeing vintage style um did one in red this is a fairly plain entry level custom and uh, it's entry level for a reason there's no mesh there's a couple of little patterns here um, just in scaling and that comes from model anarchy uk stencils i know i didn't say that right but it's early when i'm shooting this because i've got uh, packages to get out this morning so brian best go look him up on facebook it's anarchy model uk stencils anarchy model stencils uk let's see if we can get it right jennifer this you guys saw on the last i'm not sure if i've showed this to you the finished product but this is what i did on the quick three minute last week over the weekend and it turned out really really well this is that powder that mica very very pretty colors this is a fall fish also entry level just some minor scaling the whole point of this is a lighter reddish tone a couple of reds and oranges mixed into the belly and then a pile of baby bulls these are all the ones that um are orders all of these are going out i had to delay my clear coat on the, the second layer of clear coat on these because of what's happening here at Bullshad. So yes, you guys are probably starting to see the VIP things. There's a whole lot of crazy stuff going on here. Really excited to share it with you guys. I just can't do it yet, but I will be. I promise um, after this weekend, it's gonna be full tilt for the rest of the year. Guns blazing. So we're gonna have a good time this weekend. I will be vlogging and maybe doing a live feed. I'm not sure how that's all gonna go down, but, uh, you're going to start seeing a good bit of hype the next couple of days from Mike and some crew members and all the swim bait heads out there are kind of migrating south. This is interesting. So you guys know I've been playing around with micas. This is just a, another silver chrome. One of the things that uh, everybody notices when they do these powders is that it looks fantastic 
before you put the clear coat on. Then when you put the clear coat on, all of a sudden it's a little duller, but it still looks really good. This is the Silver Bullet. This is going to be an exclusive here in Georgia for the Baby Bull Shad. Just a very simple mica. It's very reflective. There's a little bit of glow properties, but I'm not going to kill the lights, but I promise you there's some glow stuff in there. And then you guys have seen these before, the Summer Gill, the Everglades Gill, the original, the OG Everglades Gill. Very pretty little colors for you guys this morning. A green, won't spend too much time on that because you guys have seen it, and it's almost breeding crappie time, y'all. You know, those males get really pretty, those black crappie. In the spring, um, they usually go right around the same time or just after when those bass are firing. So great, great spring pattern. Bass trigger them because you know the little fish like to trigger the bass beds when the bass beds are full of eggs. And then lots of these going out this morning. So thank you. It's a quick one this morning. I've got lots to do around the shop. I'm going to splash a couple of teases up at the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for hanging out on the channel. We're going to get back to some semblance of normal next week with four or five uploads I think we've got scheduled. So you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.